What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. For some people, it's the last day of the week. Some people will be starting their vacations all next week with the Memorial Day weekend. So if you're going somewhere, have fun, stay safe out there. All right, something I want to talk about. I don't usually show a lot of my purchases. Um, I mean, if I get stuff from the card show, stuff like that. But this was an eBay pickup. Now, I'm going to show you my screen because it doesn't matter you guys know what I paid for it went way under price this Hank Aaron card now great it also ended on a weekday at almost 11 o'clock in the morning but a lot of people were not uh, bidding on it because they don't read descriptions so when you look at this card if you look in the right hand side of it all if you're just looking at the card real quick you're like oh there's something wrong with it up here if you don't magnify it you, I mean, honestly, that's what I thought, too, when I first looked at it. It's actually a price tag the guy took off and didn't have a clean case to put it back into. So, basically, the setup, you know, or the cases that they were using were clean. The pictures don't look good. People are going to pass on Now, a lot goes with the timing and everything else on it. Guy had 73 feedback. Look at the score, 97.9. Dude mailed this stuff out, priority mail. I won this on Monday and got it today. Maybe I want it Sunday. I can't remember. One of the two. But let me show you the card, guys, in the case what I'm talking about here. So if you guys are selling, no matter oops, what platform you're on. Is this it? Okay, there it is. Um, always use something clean. That's why I try to save my one touches and put um, sleeves over them. So this is the one touch here that they used. So I was set too. No team bag around, nothing like that, which I don't care about. But if you guys look up here, you see that glue stain up here? You could have got goo gone, wiped all this off up here, but it did not display properly. So people that are just one clicks and not reading descriptions really passed up a nice card. Let me show it to you now. This is in a good one touch. Look how well that presents. Uh, let me get better focus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look how well that focus I said looks in there. I mean, I looked this thing over. It's really good shape. Hank Aaron, and the thing is, if you look, this is a sticker auto, okay? Let me get it up here. Go look at sticker autos of Hank Aaron, because as he's gotten older, as you guys know, his signature's really diminished. But he didn't stay on sticker. An all-on sticker, Hank Aaron auto? That's pretty amazing. Um, just food for a thought. I mean, this was, what, 2000... Yeah, 14. I was going to say 2014. Um, tops triple threads. And he stayed on. This is this all on sticker, Hank Aaron. To me, the greatest in the game. Yes, even greater than Clemente. I know somebody's going to say, you, but you collect Clemente. Um, bigger fan of Hank Aaron. I mean, Clemente was just a homeboy type deal because I was from Pittsburgh and everything. Still collect the guy and everything, but I'm, I'm a huge fan of Hank Aaron from what he did. Alright, so, pretty cool, because I was like, what did the 444444 mean mean? Because I know somebody's going to ask that. 44 was a charm for Aaron. Not only did he wear it on his back, but he actually, he exactly, he hit exactly that many home runs three times. Kind of crazy. Didn't know that. I, I was trying to picture out what the 444 was, and I'm like, well, 40, I did the number jersey, and I'm like, I don't know why it's on here. And they had a bigger space on too and stuff. But still, cool card. Really nice card. Possibly go get graded. I mean, I see a little bit of whiting on the corners. I mean, it's at least an 8, probably, maybe even possibly a small chance at a 9 on this. But still, crazy card. Um, again, if you guys are selling, this was the one touch it was in. When you display something like this, you leave open imagination to whoever's buying your stuff. And if they're just clicking on pictures and moving on, you know, without reading descriptions. Because the guy did put in there. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, the one touch has glue residue on the case. The card is pristine. Now... Honestly, he probably has no idea what the word pristine means, because that would mean a 10. It's not a 10. 
Um, but for what I got on price on this, it's it's well worth it. Hank Aaron oils have gone down a little bit, but his stuff is going to be sought after. At least in my own opinion. That's why I've been picking them up secretly. But I mean, I will still sell them too. I mean, somebody offers me double for that, you know, why would I say no too? But pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. But I wanted to try to have something to go with, you know, just... Hey, look, I got a Hank Aaron auto card out 18 from Topps Tribute. But I wanted to show that, you know, the casing was bad and stuff like that there. And not all times, you know, the stuff you see on eBay is going to come crappy to you. You just got to take your time. And if you find, like, three or four of these a year on eBay, to me, that's a success. Because I don't really search much, but occasionally things pop up. I see them on my... Uh, what do you call it, your little wish list and stuff like that. I just look at it every day, see if it's something I like. If it stays in a reasonable amount, I'm after it. But all right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Um, Lexington, Kentucky card show this weekend I'm set up. I am now going to be set up in Salem, Indiana, June 4th. The following weekend, the 11th, back in Louisville for a show set up. And then finally, week well, at the last week, it'll be the fifth week in a row, um, that final week is in Newburgh, Indiana. If anybody's going to the Indianapolis um, Mega Show or whatever they're calling, I can't remember the exact name of it. The big show, it's Friday and Saturday. I will probably be driving up that Friday just to hit it for a couple hours, then drive home in the evening because I got that show on Saturday. But I'm thinking about heading up there. So if anybody's going up on Friday, let me know. Maybe we can link up. I think he told me they're open like 2 to 8 or 12 to 6. I forget. It's some kind of crazy. I think it was 12 to 6. I think he said VIPs get in at 11 or something. But anyhow, let me know. Maybe we can link up and uh, walk the show up here see what we can find. All right, everybody. Take care of a good one. See y'all later.